There's basically, I think, a, a, line, a linear approach and a harmonic approach. And um, I think that the, the whole basis of, the only reason that the word linear exists is because it just defines, it defines a certain way of playing. Uh, I mean, what it means is that you generally aren't playing two notes at the same time. Now, most people from the beginning of time have played linear drums. I mean, there's, there's only, you can either play one note at a time or you play two or more notes at a time. And when, when you play a time pattern, you're playing harmonically. Yeah. Because you play your hands and your feet together. So the, the, the whole thing about linear playing is, is that when, when you improvise, you know, you tend to play rhythmic figures um, in a linear fashion because, first of all, linear playing has a certain kind of sound. It flows because you're hearing... Yeah. You know, if, if you played this, uh, if you played something linear, and then you played it harmonically, you could you could do that harmonically, but it's going to have a different sound. Mm -hmm. it, it might make it heavier, you know, uh, or you know. I mean, let me just give you an example here. For example, if, if I were to be playing a linear phrase uh, that basically use, let's just take a simple example. Let's say if I was just playing fives and sevens in 4-4. Four, four. Okay, now, now if I were to play that harmonically, the only difference is that it would have a different effect. Like, harmonic application would be playing the feet at the same time, like... It might be heavier or more yeah. plodding, you know? Um, or I mean, I mean, so, so when you think, if you're playing, and all of a sudden you, you hear a line that you want to play, you know? And it's, it's going to be linear, because you're, you're playing, you're playing one thing at a time, you know? Now, the thing is, is that, it's generally not commonplace to think of a line like that and all of a sudden start having your feet play the same thing, you know? I mean, it's just, drummers don't usually play that way because, because it weighs it down. You're, you're not going to play and go. I mean, you could do it, but right away you know what it's going to sound like. So, so it's, uh, I mean, I really don't know of uh, another way to approach improvisation other than, um, you know, for example, like if I were to be playing independently and, and I had each, each limb doing something different, you know. <laughs> if I had my left hand playing five, this hand playing quarter note triplet, this playing eighth notes, and this playing half notes, you know. I mean, that's fine, but you look at what it sounds like. It kind of sounds like an old washing machine with some tennis <laughs> shoes in it that it's not working properly. So what you have to do is you have to apply that musically. You see, you have to, I mean, I could play that, you know, as an example. But usually when I do it, I try to play it on sounds, on instruments that will produce a certain sound, you know. And um, it's, it's, I mean, so, so when, I th when I play, I don't think linear or harmonic. I just play, in other words. And... Hopefully what I do is I try to think of the sounds that I want to hear in my head and and hopefully my hands will go there. You know, and, and that's that's what I always try to achieve because I find that to be a more musical approach as opposed to, you know, sitting down at the drums and okay, I'm gonna play a linear phrase now. Okay, now I learned what it is, but where where am I gonna play it, you know? Because if you do that you're gonna end up having a vocabulary of licks and not knowing where to put them.